So, we're back. All right. So, we're about to finally do the intro. So, I'm a little nervous. First time, you know, I've done heads and cam and all that stuff. And King probably going to knock the tripod over and I, I can see it coming. But, um, like I said, so we're putting the engine together. Jasmine is going to help. Mm -hmm. So, I'm nervous, like I said. Because, uh, you know, this can make or break everything. So, we're going to put the bearings in, the, the mains in, and then we're going to plastic gauge it, make sure that everything is within spec. The crank and, uh, and the rods are fine. He said, I don't have, I, would, I shouldn't have any worries or anything. Let me know if you get hot. It's already hot. Uh, so then we can just put King back in the house and roll up the garage. But yeah, so like I said, it's hot in here. So main bearings, put the plastic gauge on there, check it, make sure that's good. And then once we do that, we're going to put the dial indicator indicator out there. What? If it's black, it's still recording. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So put the dial indicator on there and see, make sure that it's, you know, the perfect amount of thrust. Make sure that the crank won't be rocking back and forth too much. And then plastic gauge the rods and short block will be done. So I guess here we go. All right, so. Hello, YouTube. Really? Okay. All right. What are you saying? Who? The, 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 the English people. Hello, YouTube. Let's say L-O. All right, so I got the laptop. As you can see, you might be able to see it. I don't know what you can see good on this GoPro, but I got how to place the gauge going on over here. I already know how to do it, but it's never a problem to double check yourself ever so got the crank right here got the rods got the pistons already ringed up got a new um what do you call it i guess it's like the the easy already the correct board drop in for the pistons so got the main caps clean got the block where the bearings going clean and I got the bearings in there. I can grab that stuff out in a minute. I got my plastic gauge and an even longer one, a brand new one. So now we're ready. So let me grab the mains out. Jasmine, it's like you're my, my producer. You know, like how they be watching it on the screen as things are going on. So, whatever. All right. Let's get it. All right. Nope, wrong one. Okay, yeah, this is the side it goes.
you see these little indentions on here? And there's only one way that the bearing can go is because it's only made a certain way. So you see there's no indentions on here, but it's one on that side. Mm -hmm. So you see it's one right here. So there's only one way this can go. So go ahead and try. So you see how these are, right? See how the indentions in there, but there's nothing over here, but you want it to sit flush. Mm-hmm. So I will press on the high side first, which that's your high side over there. Right? No, press there. So press in the middle. Yeah, so get it firm in there. Now press on the high side, press down. So yeah, there you go. Use both. Did it go down? Yeah. So now press on the other side. Now you want both sides to now I will press one thumb here, one thumb there. That's not right. Oh. Let me see. There we go. It does take a little bit of push to get it done. I want to think this is the... Here, move the laptop up there on top of the car. Put it right there on the left corner where the fuse box is over there. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so grab that side of the crank with both hands. Yep, lift. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> You're trying to kill me. Okay. You could have you told me. Yeah, I th well, I guess I could have told you it was heavy. Okay. okay, so lift. Okay, go real slow. Wait. Where am I going? Let me see. Okay. We're going to go right here. Real slow, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not in there. Hmm? It's not in there. I still got my side up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Moving freely with no lube. Hell, this damn thing may not even have no thrust at all, which is bad. But if we get to that point, you see bugs? Yeah. All right. You want to hold that for me? Okay. Hey, little bit. So, look. See right here? It has a number? Yeah. Okay. So, this would be number one, two, three four, five, right? Mm -hmm. So number three is in the middle. Mm -hmm. And where's five at? Oh, that's There's four. four. Two. Okay. So five is the only one that will face that direction. So it will always, five will always go in this direction. Mm -hmm. So let's put that on. I go five. Wanna look, baby? Huh? I'm looking. 
I keep getting stuck on my finger. Okay. Now hold this light back. On the side. All right. I wonder if it goes to 15. Okay, it does. Okay. And then one, two, 15. 15 inner, and then 15 outer. Why you say it's easy? And then we're gonna do degrees. I wish this thing glue glue up. Glow. Glowed, yeah. Glue up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh. It's been a long day. Did you take a nap? Mm -mm. Good girl. We don't take naps. Well, I do. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I be having stuff to do too. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hate degrees, Jasmine. Because it just sucks. Cause then it gets it, then the bolts feel like they're about to snap. Like this right here. Hey, come hold the block for me. So I wish I had it on the end of the stand, but. <laughs> he like, why y'all looking at me? <laughs> All right, so
It worked. Let me see. So oh, okay, it's flat. This, that's crazy. I didn't know y'all even go through all this. That is, that's tedious. That's too much. Okay. So that just stays on there? No, you wipe it off. What are you about to do now? Check it. That's one and a half. Because, well, there's two. There's one and a half. So I want to say it's between one and a half and two. But ain't that where you want it to be? Close? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's where I want it to be. That's pretty cool, babe. So I'm just going to snap this as well for references. Sis. We don't want to see his big head in. Mr. Big Sean one. Mr. Big Big Head one. <laughs> Where's that dude that brake cleaner? So, and another thing is they got the, the crank balance to um, basically, like every lobe, it's perfect. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, this is going to be interesting, dropping the pistons in without having it on the block, I mean on the stand. I guess I just, in the morning, I go buy some bolts so I can put it on the stand. I do, but they, they're basically, they're not the right size. They're, um, well, what happened is it's going to re-thread the whole, oh, driven. Yeah, I'd be all right. This stuff is slippery. Oh, it has a little thing. You don't think King is going to sit right there and let the garage door open? If he hears something, he's going to be like, Ugh. I mean, but he ain't going to go nowhere. Well, if I lift it up, he's going to be already ready to go. Why don't you tell him to sit his ass there? Why, you want to open the door? I'm just saying. You want to open it? The only reason I didn't have it open is because I know how you love your bugs. Nice and nasty. Oh. I thought this was going to be a cute color. Look at that. You like hair gel or something? Why did you think it was going to be a cute color? Because a lot of it is like gray and blue and red, not brown. This ain't UPS. All right, so. What is that? It's um. It's for. Actually, hold on. Let me do this real fast, so I can turn this that way. That goes that way. No, it, it's loop. Good old lube. Everything in the world needs lube. Don't you think so, John? Okay. 
That came out so easy, but it went in so stupidly. Nope. That one goes that way. Okay. So now, Josh's about to get messy again. Why are you cutting on these gloves? Because... Hand me. <laughs> we had to locate Puppy because we opened up the garage and he he's a runaway slave. Why are you looking? Why are you getting so... He hear them. Good boy. Good boy. He lay down. Good old driven, nasty... Lube that they made. And all these bolts been clean, so there's no grease and stuff on them. Okay, so let me just double check yours, make sure they're threaded. Because a lot of this stuff are going to get fast forwarded and edited it out. So. I literally wasn't recording that. Okay. So basically I just went back through and did the pattern. Uh, 15, 15, 15, 15. No, no. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, and outside, same pattern. So now we gotta do the 80 degrees on the inside, and then I think it's 53 on the outside. So Jeff, I'm gonna do the first two. All right, so, oh wait, actually, I'm doing 80. Ooh, I'm happy I... All right, you gotta give it a sec for it to calculate all its degrees and stuff. Who's a happy puppy? Okay. I thought you said these was one on 80. Yeah, they are. Why is it at 53? Because I have to move it up. I have to wait for it to oh. go to degrees. Okay, so grab the handle here. No, grab like somewhere over here. And so watch this. So as you turn it, and when that bolt turns at, start turning at an angle, mm -hmm. that number will start changing. So pull. You gotta keep keep your arm steady. See, it's moving. Yeah. Pull. Pull, keep pulling. Hey, I'll tell you what, come here. So one step, well no, one step forward, 
come back a little bit more. Okay. So now you have some angle. Come on. Slow down, slow down. So when you start getting to really close to like 60 on. Boom, you're done. So now do that one for me. So you want to start far as far away from you so you can, no, nope, we still want to have some angle. Okay, now step back, Jazz. There you go. Now, oh, wait. Now go. I got to remember that because I don't really do a lot of angle. Remember when you get to 80, there you go. Now, I just need you to hold, help me hold the block as I torque. Come over here real quick. I don't smell it over here. You wanna hold this for me? Not really. Here, just gonna spin it. Here, spin it. Spin it right there and put your hand right here. Now you see how smooth it is? It's not like nothing like trying to catch it. That means that that's fine. We don't have any problems. Good. All right. So now we're going to try to drop the rods through and uh, hopefully get the piston rings in. All right. Look, you remember how on the main caps it tells you which direction? Um, these are the same exact way. So you want to point it to the front of the engine, so that going that way. So, I want that 
away. I'm gonna try my best to do this correctly. Come over here, babe. Actually, where's that other light? Pull that off. <laughs> you want to try? No. Why? I don't want to mess nothing up. Well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. That's on. So you take them out? What? Does the top clamp. You talking about this? Yeah. Yeah, because this clamps on to the crank. Oh. So, got the back side done. Now, I'm going to do this side. And this is the front of the engine where the crank, um, the crank pulley goes. So, I want the little dot facing the front of the engine. And I got my compressor, my ring compressor. Compress the wings into the hole just like so. Drop this thing in. Okay, cool. Press in, then That may not be no one no. Oh, is it hitting the crank maybe? I wonder if that's what it is. No. It's not hitting anything. All right. I think I know what happened. Maybe I just need to hit directly straight in the middle.
success. So that's the end for tonight. I'm gonna get this thing flipped back over on this backside and we'll finish it up tomorrow. Put the cam and stuff in after I get the bolts and get all that stuff done. Got it done. Yep. Yep. That was bad. Yep. I'm not as scared now. That first one was kind of, uh, but all right, y'all. Uh, say like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell so they know when I what upload. Do you want to say? Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And hit that bell. So whenever we post something, you see it first. Yeah. Hey there. All right, y'all. We'll holler at y'all.